Whoa, come down from there, bucking. I get chasing off on those little grooves I go, and I'm a hack from way back. I, friends, I don't read a note of music. I've never, I've never taken harmonica lessons. I've never taken drum lessons. I was just born with some type of a rhythm in me. You know, the rhythm of the earth, the, the, the rhythm that everyone has in them. They have their own rhythm. They drift with their rhythms. There's a young man who comes to the channel and he, he's a young fella. He, he, he is, he's a young man, he, nice fella, from what I hear. Can't say I've met him, but when I hear good things about a fella from more than one person, I start to believe it. And can't wait to maybe set my eyes on the man one day and shake his hand, right? Well, today's a special day for that young man. Derek. Derek Zickler, I received a message from the cosmos, from a little bird, perhaps, maybe they call it, that it was your birthday today, Mr. Derek Zickler. This isn't a, a, a crazy video of, 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 any, of any means or any, anything. What it is, though, what it is, is I received a, a, a message, okay, Derek, uh, for someone who loves you. All right. Now, Buck and Billy Ray gets these messages all the time. He gets them all the time, like all the time, almost daily now. I mean, we're creeping up on on two thousand uh, subscribers, two hundred thousand subscribers, friends. Check out this axe head that my good buddy Ronnie Burke gave me. It's called Old Faithful, and it's a Warren axe, friends. Check it out. Look at it. It's it's actually glorious. The, it's, it is, it's beautiful. The, the profiles there, the, it's convex. It's, and, and you can see the thinner profile on these. If you look close, there's a thinner and a thicker one. Ronnie, thank you so much, brother. We'll cut trees one day together and it's going to be fun. Um, back to Mr. Zickler. Okay. Uh, D Derek just turned 11. And like I said, someone, someone reached out to me and asked, said he was a big fan. And asked if I would do a, a, a birthday shout out for him. Well, I, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't have to do it. I get these all the time. I don't feel obligated in any means to do it because it's so common that I get these requests. You can't do them all, friends. You just can't. It's not possible. So I'm, I, I'm in the mood today to, uh, to wish Derek. He turns 11 years old today, friends. I guess he, he watches the channel with his, his dad and, and, or his family. And uh, he likes old Buck and Billy Ray. Well, I'm honored, Derek. I'm honored that you watch the channel. I got a good video getting slapped together. We did a little tree job yesterday, downtown Nanaimo. My boy priced it. Ganges went in and priced it. And he looked at it and he said, I think my dad can follow us. It's in the backyard of a guy's Well, <laughs> it's It was a good one. It was good to be me yesterday. It worked out. Everything worked out good, Derek. You know what I mean, buddy? Yeah. So while I got you here, though, friends, I get a lot of requests. So Derek, listen, from my heart, brother, and from the channel, happy birthday to you, Derek Zickler. Okay, buddy? You just listen, pal. You want to know the coolest thing for a young man to do these days in, in our world, in our landscape? 
Do, do you know what it is, Derek? I'm going to let you know a little secret. Be nice to people. Seriously, buddy, it's be nice to people. This tough guy, uh, uh, I, I don't know what it is. The, the, this, it, it doesn't work. It's the nice guy that finishes first now, Derek. There used to be an old saying, nice guys finish last. Well, that has changed and nice guys finish first now. That's what it is. Just so if you want to know, I got a little in scoop on that. Okay, Derek. So happy birthday to you. Okay, now I get asked about knots. Billy Ray, what are your knots that you use doing tree work? Well, you probably know the knots that I use. You just want to see me do them. And, and that's great because everybody has their people they follow and they can go find this information elsewhere. But if you follow Billy Ray or if you follow Mike Morgan or if you follow anybody, Hanukkah or anybody, you want to see those people do these certain things. And I understand that now. I do. I didn't before. I used to think somebody asked me something. And I think, well, that's all over the internet. Go find it. On, you know what I mean? But, but no, you guys want to see me do these things. And I'm starting to understand what it's like to be a YouTuber now. I am. So I'm going to do these knots for you. But what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to set you up in the tripod because it just makes more sense. And I like sense. Let's talk about, let's talk about the bowline. The running bowline, the clove hitch, and the double bowline. Those are knots that I use basically on a daily basis when I'm doing tree work. Almost on every job, I will use those knots or a variation of, okay? So I'm just gonna use this little stick here, okay? Now, there's variations of, of, of people do, you know, the, the bowline, I, I just, I use my working end as, as out here. If I'm gonna tie something on, like, you know, I, I think if you're going to do a big pull and you don't have enough rope, I like bowline on a bowline. I just do. It's simple. It's strong. It's easy to get undone. The bowline, friends, I'm telling you, you don't have to do tree work to know these knots. You, you don't. They will help your life out in general. Teach your kids these knots, friends, seriously, because they're going to get stuck in the ditch one day. Or they're going to be out in the winter to four by or doing something and someone's going to be stuck and they want to help them. And they're, you know, they're, they're going to want to know these things so they can be a helpful person in society. Okay. The bowline. Okay. Here it is. So you got your truck back there. Your truck's back there. You've already got your rope tied onto your bowline, onto your truck. Okay. So say you're at your truck now. You come over. You put this here, okay? So here's your tail and your, I just do left hand, right? I do the left hand. So what, what I may do, what I may do is bring you guys in closer so you can just see my hands. What do you guys think? You're actually pretty close, friends, I think. We, we don't really need to get too, too crazy on this. I mean, th there's the, there it is right there. Let's just do it like this. You guys can see me and see the knot. Let's just do it. So here's the deal. So again, here's your, your apparatus. Here's the guy's truck. It's in the bush or it's in the snow. Well, you got your rope. Here's your rope. Well, I just go around a structure, okay, somehow, uh, underneath somewheres, bring your rope out. There it is. Here's your working end in the left hand. So for a bowline, if, we, if you're going to be, you know, this is the, the apparatus you're pulling on, okay, then you just want to throw your loop around that. Now, now there you go. You got to have a tail. Sooner or later, you got to have a tail. So pick your hand, whatever way you're going to do it. So now for, for lack of, you know, too many things going on in your hand, I just, I just leave that there. That's the tail. I, I just kind of leave it there. And here's the rope. It's in my hand. I just grab underneath. You see, I have my hand like this and, and I just grab underneath and I just, I basically come up like this. And what's important at this stage is that the part where it crosses over and comes down at you is on top. See that, friends? This is on top, okay? So so guys do it so quick, they try and teach the knot. You, you know, you can just leave this in your hand and just reach down and do that. And they show you all these nifty little whippity whips. 
well, that's fine and dandy, but a guy's trying to learn something. Slow down, teach him. So just leave that there. Just grab underneath your knot. Lay it right across your hand. Grab underneath and just come up over your knuckles. See what's happening? Just come up over your knuckles. Nothing changes here. You're not going like this or, or, or like that. You're coming up and you're just putting a roll on it and it's coming over top of the working end and down towards you. That's it. That is it. Now, now there, there's your working stuff. That's what you need right there. Now, you've all heard the story of the rabbit goes down through the hole, up around and comes back around the tree, goes back down the hole, right? So, the, so now that you're around, right, you got your, you got your eye in there now, okay? So listen, friends, this is this simple. It's this simple. The rabbit goes down the hole, okay? He goes down the hole. He comes up and around, you see, the, the working end going towards the truck, not, not under, he comes over top. So remember, everything's over top. The wrap is over top. Then when the rabbit comes up and goes down through the hole, he goes around the tree and basically just up back through the hole. And you pull on that and you pull on this and you just set your knot. There is the bowline. Now, when you recognize a bowline, it's got a part on the knot where you can undo it, where you just you see that? So once again, let's do it again and let's get closer this time. Because I think you guys can actually see what I'm doing there. I truly do. But we're going to get in like this. Watch this. Here we go. Okay? Close up. Okay? Here we go. Boom. We're going to pull this guy out of the ditch. Okay? Or we're going we're gonna to tie a... You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are. Rope goes around. I don't care if you go this way, then you got to do it backwards. You got to go this way, and then it goes down through the hole around the tree. Right, friends? But I, I just do it this way. I, I keep the knot in my left hand. So whatever you got to do, go around, go over top, do whatever. Get your setup. One tail, right? One tail. Now, if you want, just leave this in your hand. Just leave the tail in your hand. Just pretend it's not there. Just leave it there. If you're too confused... Drop it, but I wouldn't drop it. Get used to holding on to it. Reach down, reach down, grab this little sucker underneath your hand and just bring it up and curl it over so it's over top of this end, over top and down towards you, okay? There it is, that's it. Now, it's simple. Rabbit goes down the hole. He goes around the tree, over top again and up through the hole, and he pulls on that, and he pulls on the hole knot, he pulls both ends, even good to just grab the, the bowline, there, there's a bowline, now the only thing about that is, is it could slip off somewhere, so you got to make sure that you got a good grab on something, that will not tighten up, okay, that's the bowline, I hope that's good enough for you, now, I want to show you the running bowline real quick, because we're in the, the, we're in the zone for the running bowline, we're already here, now, say you're up a tree. Say you're up a tree, friends, okay? Uh, this being the tree up here. Let's get this squared away here. Let's do this. Okay, one sec. Let's say that right there. That thing is the tree up here. So you're in the tree. And you want to rappel down to the ground and send up a running bowline to pull the tree over. This is old school stuff. So you're in the tree, right? You 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 tie in, you tie into your, your taut line hitch, right? Up over the up over the thing, I'm a bobberoni, right? Shaklank, right? So you go up around your limb, right? Taut line hitch, though I go the other way. I go this way. Okay? No, no, I don't. I'm dreaming. No, I don't. I come up like this. That's right. I go around. Like this, okay? This is what we do. Now, the taut line hitch, friends, okay? Do you guys want to learn the taut line hitch? Well, we're going to teach it to you right freaking now. That's just how it's going to go. We're going to teach you the taut line hitch. This is the rappelling knot, okay? So you, you've gone around a limb, right? You're, you're around a limb up there, okay? So now, now what you do 
is you come down. You, you go over the limb, you come down, you take this tail, okay? And you go through, let's just go through here and pretend this is my D-ring, okay? This is, this is my D-ring here. So I'll just, because we're going to rappel out of the tree now, right? Right? Yeah. So what we do is we pull enough slack like this, right? Pull, say, oh gosh, I don't know, couple arm lengths, right? Now, now you got this. You got this and you've gone through your D-ring here, okay? So all you've done is you've gone up over a limb through your D-rings and you've pulled yourself enough to tie your knot. So, right? So now, taut line hitch. Here we go. Tie off. You're supposed to put a bow line here. You're, you're actually supposed to put a bow line here. I don't do it. I never have. Uh, I, I do two, two half hitches here, friends. Okay. Right, right here, I do two half hitches. Can you guys see me from there? Can you see the vise? Yeah, you can. So, so once I go up over my limb and into my D's, uh, you're, you, you should tie a bow line here on your D-rings. So just, just do, do a bow line, right? Like this. Okay. There you go. There's your bow line. It's, for, it's best for aerial rescue, okay? So now you've got this. I, I, I do two half hitches is all I do, but they want you to have a, to have a, um, pardon me, a, a, a bow line here. That's what they want. Okay. So let's, let's go with the bow line. There it is. Bow lines on the D rings. Now, basically now we've got around the limb up there, right? Let's move you back a little bit. There, right? So we're up over the limb. We're down here. We've gone around our D ring. So now we're, now we can actually pull on this and lift ourselves up a bit, right? So anyways, now, taut line hitch. I'm actually, what I'm gonna do here now, so this is a nice thing to do, just pull up a little bit, get yourself taut on there. Now I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna zoom you in, friends, so you can see this not being done closer, okay? Let's do it. There, we're back. We're back in business, right? Okay, taut line. Grab your tail from here. Grab your tail. Come over your working end. Right here, okay? Go across. A across your line. Go under the underneath. One. Keep this knot tight, friends. Keep it tight. One. Two. Now you've got two on the bottom, we call this now. This is the climber's knot. You got two on the bottom. Now this is where you come up. Now, now you come up underneath after your second bottom wrap. So again, let's start again. Let's do this. Okay? So you're here. Okay? So it's like this. One. Right? Two. Now you basically come up. You come up and you leave that little space there and just grab it like that. See my hand? Now you've created this space here. This is where you go two on the bottom. See? Or two on top. So you just go two there underneath. Work your knot down. Right? Snug it up. Tie a, tie a figure eight here. So for safety, that's just to give you the idea. There's the taut line hitch. Two on the bottom, two on top. Simple. Okay? That's okay, that. friends, we're going to do another taut line hitch from a different angle. I am now in the tree. You're with me. We're in the tree. We're pretending that this power saw is around the tree and around the limb. So we take the tail of our rope. Okay, let's just, just stick with me for a minute here, okay? Okay, we just take that rope and we go up through our limb. So now we've gone around the tree and around a limb, correct? And we've got this tail right here. Okay, it comes down, right? And this, now what we do is we pull like, oh, I don't know, say maybe 10 feet or so. Okay, just so now you've got your working end. This goes down to the ground. Okay, and now this, let's just get you situated here. There we go. Okay, so now the tail end, 
This, I think this will help, friends. I truly do. Here's the tail end in the left hand. It goes down, okay? I'm gonna show it to you. It goes right down like this, the tail does, okay? And it ties into your D-ring, okay? So so now you tie your bowline. We've already been through this. Tie, tie into your D-rings to your double, you know, your bowline right there. So I'm just gonna pretend we've tied our bowline, whoops, in our, in our D-ring, just bear with me here. I know you'll like this. So, right, so now, there we go. We've got what we need. So now, we come across from our D-rings. This is our working end, remember. This goes to the ground and up to around the tree. Here's the taut line hitch right in front of your face. This is beautiful. I like this. Buck and you're learning. Okay, so again, we come from over from our bowline. We go across our line. Bring out enough so that you can get a, a safety knot. Figure eight after. Here it is. One. Right? Just keep this knot tight because it's a friction knot anyway. So just keep it tight. It's a two-hander, right? One on the bottom, right? Two on the bottom. Now, after that second knot on the bottom, you come up now and you create that little space. You see? Right there because it's going to go across the across the rope again and you create that little that little space right there. Right? So let's just quickly do that one more time just to make sure that everybody's with us. Okay, so we come over. Right, over we come. It's a shaggy piece of rope I found. Over we come, let's get a little more slack on that. There we go, come over, boom. We go two on the bottom. Shaklank, right, keep it snug. Two on the bottom. Boom, you can, you can go out like that and just make it make it snug. So there's our two on the bottom, right? It looks like three, but it's not, it's two because this is coming up like this. And that's where we create our space, right there, see? So there's our two, then we come up, and we just move our thumb there and hold it like that. So that, that creates this little space and keep our thumb in there. Now we come through here. One, keep this down and snug, see? Like this, leave enough for space. Two, there it is, two on the bottom. Work your knot down, right, friends? There you go. There is your taut line hitch right there. Then to set it, you'd pull up on it, right? And then put weight on it, but I'm not gonna do that because that power saw will come off the roof, okay? There's your taut line hitch right there. Two on the bottom, two on the top. I like it. Then don't forget, friends, okay? Figure eight here. Don't, don't, don't forget to do that. Tie a figure eight. That's your, that's your lifeline right there. Shaklank. Okay. Tie a figure eight and you're off. Shaklank. All right. Now, so that's the climber's knot. That's that. Let's do, which one are we doing now, friends? Hey, which one are we doing now? What did we do? Let's do a running bowline. Let's do a running bowline. Okay, so now you're on the ground, friends. We're on the ground now, right? Because we just rappelled down. We tied our taut line hitch. Now we're on the ground, okay? So let's make sure we got this in order. Yeah, we do. Okay, so we're on the ground. Let's do this again. So how we did it though, is we came, we came like this. This is what we did. We, we rappelled down like this right and there we are we're on the ground and now we need we can we got to tie our knot and send our knot up because we got to get it tied to a pickup 150 feet back that way so everybody's safe so now what, what are we gonna do well we're gonna tie a running bowline that's what i call a running bowline now this is a little different this one here so you take your tail okay so because you just untied it from your belt and now you've got it here and it's up in the tree and there's your working end so now what you do is you take both pieces in your hands. Remember what I told you about going over top of the rope, right? Just, just, I say to guys, just put that in your arm and just leave it there because you got both pieces. Well, you want to come over to the tail and tie. So I just, I just leave it in my arm. You can leave it out there. It doesn't matter, but I wouldn't do that just yet. This is what I would do. I would make your, 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 your eye here first. Boom. That's our first move, right? Over top. Okay? Now, basically, 
you just go around this piece like this. Just incorporation is what I call it. Incorporate it. Forget about it. It's gone. It's doing its own thing now. You won't use it again until you pull on the knot. Okay? Now, friends, it's a backwards from the other bowline because we're doing something different here. We're in a running situation. So before we went down, right? Then we went around here and up there. Well, that doesn't do it. See? That, that's that's different scenario. We want to go like this now. Again, so we make our eye, right? We incorporate the rope, the working end. Now we come up through, not down and around. You come up through, right? You got your incorporation, see? You come up through, you go around the tree and back down the hole and shaklank. You've got yourself a running bowline. There it goes. And you can now slide that up to the top of the tree. That's the running bowline. Stay tuned for the next one. It's a knot show, Sonny. <coughs> oh, right on. I'm just going to for a bit. Okay, buddy. Have a good one. Yeah, see ya. Okay, friends. Welcome back to another knot. We're going to do another knot. I know it's crazy. You, you, you've been asking me for five years about knots, and now we're doing a knot. I, somebody was asking me about the one-handed one uh, clove hitch. Okay, he, here's the deal. You're in a tree. Okay, you're in a tree. Oh, we got a rig of limb. Okay, well, let's pull our rope off. Shiklank, up she comes. Now you got your rope, <clears throat> right? What are you going to do? Well, there's the limb, right? Well, it's, it, it's, <laughs> unless you're taught this knot, it's something that came to me just from years of doing it. I need to rig this limb. Well, I'm just going to go like this. See what happens? It goes over across right away. See? So it, it don't matter whether you you know you go up, but you want to cross. You can almost, this can almost, there. It's almost done right there. You see that? Right? But 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 I, I just go like this. You see? There. Because the, the limb is gonna fall down that way so I want my bite instantly right there. So that's why I go, I go there, right? So you just, right? There's the cross, there's your, there's your, there's your, there's your clove hitch, okay? The clove hitch is the easiest knot in the world but the hardest one to remember. It took me forever, I don't know why. Because it can be done so many different ways on so many different things. Like if you're doing a, a, a clove hitch to, to hang a block on a tree, right? That's a different story. Completely different story, right? Clove hitch is not a knot, friends. It will roll out on you. It will roll out on you. Look. Right? So you're you're doing a you're doing a tip rig now, right? So now you're doing now you're doing a tip rig. Well, if you want to incorporate a clove hitch, what I personally would do would be to go over top right away. So you create bite instantly. See, like this? Do, do you know what I'm saying, friends? Okay, so you, you want you to tie your clove hitch. Well, there, there you are. Now, what, what do I do? Well, the load is going to be, the load is going to be uh, going, going up, going, you know, hitting the top. So you want to go like that so that it, that it bites instantly am i making sense see like that you don't want to go like this you, you, you don't want to go like this down around because nothing's biting you understand right friends see so so you could still tie the clovich i'll show you so here we go so it goes around like that now you'd want to come through here there and there and there's the clovich but but and, and it's there and it'll work Trust me, it's there and it will work because you're gonna you're gonna throw half hitches at it and secure it. But friends, this is not a knot. See, it's roll. It's a hitch. So you know, if this piece was to be be let go and slammed, then that means that we would want our our bite here, right? We we would want our bite on the bottom, right? Yeah, 
because it's going to fall over and bam. You guys get what I'm saying. Yeah, I know you do. <clears throat> now, enough ramble bamble on that. Here is, uh, so, the clove hitch is a great knot. I want to show double bowline now. You guys know the clove hitch, right? The clove hitch is this. Okay? You create an X, right? So, here it is, right? You come this way if the rigging is going to be bite as hard that way. If the bite is this way, then you go that way. But basically, friends, the clove hitch is just like this. You go over one side like that, okay? Then as you go over like this, you basically leave this loop. See, right there is where this is coming now, right here. So it basically just goes over and you can almost just, whoop, boom, that's a clove hitch. That's it, friends. The clove hitch is, is, a, is, a, is a funny knot because uh, a guy explained it to me. He says it's the easy, easiest knot in the world, but the hardest one to remember. And I thought that was funny. Again, just whatever you're, whatever you're rigging, okay? Throw it over, come up on the bite side. Now, now leave slack is the problem, guys. The guys, they don't leave slack. So they go like this, then they go like this. And, and they, they, now, now what they've got is this, and they kind of get, they get mixed up. Well, if you, if you don't want to get mixed up, leave slack. Go across, then just. See, it almost came right through its spot. Look, that's what it does. This is the one-handed clove hitch right here. Boom. That's it. The one-handed clove hitch. Actually, I should have just showed it to you that way, right? Look. One-handed clove hitch. Okay, we got that. Now, double bowline. What have we got? We got running bowline, we got bowline, we got clove hitch. Now we got double bowline. You got two guys out in the field. Three guys, actually. You got three guys out in the field. You're on the stump and you don't need, you don't need a pickup on it. You could do a running bowline. We will go over that again. You could use wedges, which is usually what I do. But if you need to pull a tree over and you want the guys to have something to pull, or if you're, again, if you're pulling something out of the ditch, the double bowline makes it worthwhile because it's stronger and there's more rope there. So when you load it up, it really doesn't get, it's so easy to undone. Double bowline. Okay, here it is. You're out there. There you go. You took your rope. You're going out to tie off. To your, you're going out to hand it to the boys in the field. Okay, boys, hang on. I'll get you a knot. Take your rope, just make enough so you can double up. Throw 10 feet, you got double. Now you're doubled up, right? Boom. Double end is going back that way, right? Sure it is. Now, whoo, this is so simple, friends. Once you double up on the double ball line, once you, once you double, this is a great knot, by the way, friends. It is a great knot, okay? Here's the deal. So now all you've done is you've doubled up. And your boys are sitting there, come on, stop flapping your gums. Let's get this tree over so I can go home to my family. So you double up, right? This is going to the tree. Just go, that's it. Just four feet of, of, of doubled up rope, okay? Just drop that if you want, because that's what you're going to do anyway, right? Over the knuckles. Remember that gig we talked about, friends? Over the knuckles and to me. See? So here it is. Here it is this way. Right? That's what we got again. We're, we're, we're like this again. But we're back here now. Okay? So over the knuckles. Bang. Boom. Now, here's the deal. The rabbit, he, because this is your going to be your working pull now is this. This is, right? So you just come up through the hole. Robert comes up through the hole. But only pull as enough as you need to make 
the knock because this is your pull. Right? So just come up through the hole, go around both trees, flip it over, go back down through the hole. Boom. There it is. Double bow line. Wicked knot. Hey, here's one for you, one for you, one for you. Now three people are pulling on the tree, friends, and, and, and you've got all this purchase. Three big men yarding on a tree. It's awesome. I'm going to show it to you again from your angle. Okay? Okay, I'm running from the tree. Tree's out there. I come running out. I got my rope. I'm coming running out to see you guys. You guys ready to pull this tree over? Okay, let's make a knot for you, shall we? Yeah, get your hard hats on. You got your high vis rolling. Ear, ear, ear protection, eye protection. Good show. Let's rock and roll. I got the tail. See this? Check this out. One, two. Throw it down towards the tree. Throw it back that way. Okay. Now you got doubled up rope, right? Shaklang. Grab it with a pull it out like that. Okay. So now you got this four or five feet of doubled up rope. There's the eye right there. I'm gonna drop it now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. Take my my part of the rope. Okay. And I'm going to go over my knuckles and down to me, over top, like we talked about with the bowline, right? Like this. But make this big because you got more rope going through it, right? So that's the deal. Now, you just take your double end up like this, friends, okay? And you come up through here, up. Remember? You come up on the double bowline, up like this, then go around this tree here. See? That's the going out to the tree, around and down through. Shiklank. There it is. Double bowline. What do you think, friends? Not a bad knot video or what? Come on, give it to me straight. Okay, friends, listen. It's Derek Zickler's birthday. Let's wish Derek Zickler a happy birthday. He's 11 years old today. Let's all wish him a happy birthday, friends. Thanks for watching my videos. I had to get this video. I didn't have to. I wanted to get this video done a long time ago, and we've done it now. Over and out. I love you all, friends. Be kind to one another.